subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Google Professional Cloud Security Engineer. So let's get started. Question number 1. Your team needs to make sure that a Compute Engine instance does not have access to the Internet or to any Google APIs or services. Which two settings must remain disabled to meet these requirements? Choose two. Your options are A. Public IP B. IP forwarding C. Private Google access D. Static routes E. IAM network user role The correct answers are Option C, and D. Question number 2. Which two implied firewall rules are defined on a VPC network? Choose two. Your options are A. A rule that allows all outbound connections. B. A rule that denies all inbound connections. C. A rule that blocks all inbound port 25 connections. D. A rule that blocks all outbound connections. E. A rule that allows all inbound port 80 connections. The correct answers are option A and B. Question number 3 Your team wants to centrally manage GCP IAM permissions from their on premises Active Directory service. Your team wants to manage permissions by AD group membership. What should your team do to meet these requirements? Your options are a. Set up cloud directory sync to sync groups, and set IAM permissions on the groups. B. Set up SAML 2.0 single sign-on, and assign IAM permissions to the groups. C. Use the Cloud Identity and Access Management API to create groups and IAM permissions from Active Directory. D. Use the Admin SDK to create groups, and assign IAM permissions from Active Directory. The correct answer is, Option B. Question number 4. When creating a secure container image, which two items should you incorporate into the build if possible? Choose two. Your options are A. Ensure that the app does not run as bin 1. B. Package a single app as a container. C. Remove any unnecessary tools not needed by the app. D. Use public container images as a base image for the app. E. Use many container image layers to hide sensitive information. The correct answers are, option B, and C. Question number 5, a customer needs to launch a three-tier internal web application on Google Cloud Platform. The customer's internal compliance requirements dictate that end-user access may only be allowed if the traffic seems to originate from a specific known good CIDR. The customer accepts the risk that their application will only have SYN flood DDoS protection. They want to use GCP's native SYN flood protection. Which product should be used to meet these requirements? Your options are A. Cloud Armor B. VPC Firewall Rules C. Cloud Identity and Access Management D. Cloud CDN The correct answer is, option A. Question number 6. A company is running workloads in a dedicated server room. They must only be accessed from within the private company network. You need to connect to these workloads from Compute Engine instances within a Google Cloud Platform project. Which two approaches can you take to meet the requirements? Choose two. Your options are A. Configure the project with Cloud VPN B. Configure the project with Shared VPC C. Configure the project with Cloud Interconnect D. Configure the project with VPC Peering E. Configure all Compute Engine instances with private access. The correct answers are, Option D, and E. Question number 7. A customer implements Cloud Identity Aware Proxy for their ERP system hosted on Compute Engine. Their security team wants to add a security layer so that the ERP systems only accept traffic from Cloud Identity Aware Proxy. What should the customer do to meet these requirements? Your options are A. Make sure that the ERP system can validate the JWT assertion in the HTTP requests. B. Make sure that the ERP system can validate the identity headers in the HTTP requests. 
C makes sure that the ERP system can validate the X forwarded for headers in the HTTP requests. D makes sure that the ERP system can validate the user's unique identifier headers in the HTTP requests. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 8, a company has been running their application on Compute Engine. A bug in the application allowed a malicious user to repeatedly execute a script that results in the Compute Engine instance crashing. Although the bug has been fixed, you want to get notified in case this hack reoccurs. What should you do? Your options are A. Create an alerting policy in Stackdriver using a process health condition, checking that the number of executions of the script remains below the desired threshold. Enable notifications. B. Create an alerting policy in Stackdriver using the CPU usage metric. Set the threshold to 80% to be notified when the CPU usage goes above this 80%. C. Log every execution of the script to Stackdriver Logging. Create a user-defined metric in Stackdriver Logging on the logs, and create a Stackdriver dashboard displaying the metric. D. Log every execution of the script to Stackdriver Logging. Configure BigQuery as a log sync, and create a BigQuery scheduled query to count the number of executions in a specific time frame. The correct answer is, Option C. Question number 9, your team needs to obtain a unified log view of all development cloud projects in your seam. The development projects are under the non pre organization folder with the test and pre-production projects. The development projects share the ABC billing billing account with the rest of the organization. Which logging export strategy should you use to meet the requirements? Your options are A. 1. Export logs to a cloud pub slash subtopic with folders slash non prod parent, and include children property set to true in a dedicated seam project. 2. Subscribe seam to the topic. B. 1. Create a cloud storage sync with billing account slash ABC billing parent and include children property set to false in a dedicated seam project. 2. Process cloud storage objects in seam. C. 1. Export logs in each dev project to a cloud pub slash subtopic in a dedicated seam project. 2. Subscribe seam to the topic. D. 1. Create a cloud storage sync with a publicly shared cloud storage bucket in each project. 2. Process cloud storage objects in seam. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 10. A customer needs to prevent attackers from hijacking their domain, or IP and redirecting users to a malicious site through a man-in-the-middle attack. Which solution should this customer use? Your options are A. VPC flow logs B. Cloud armor C. DNS security extensions D. Cloud identity aware proxy The correct answer is, option C. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.